The Ghana Education Service is to go ahead with investigations into whether heads of schools or teachers whose pupils were captured chanting political slogans at the recent Wongbo demonstrations were negligent of their duties. The Deputy Director of GES is warning that teachers who bring their political callous to the classroom will be dealt with. We have failed in our duty and it is unacceptable. But what about security lapses that made it easier for these pupils to pour out onto the streets during the demonstrations? Wouldn't a caution have been enough without going through a full investigation? Is the GES acting fairly considering that this is not the first time pupils have been drawn into activities across the street from their school? This is today's Big Story with me, Stephen Enti. Today's Big Story is brought to you in association with Lifeline Properties, quality, affordable and comfortable housing. Now, the ripples of last week's Wongbo demonstrations organized by the opposition New Patriotic Party are still being felt. In the process of the march, some children were heard in taunting chants of Mahama Isa Thief, Mahama Isa Dumso, among others. Now, following the announcement by the Deputy Education Minister Kujeto Ablakwa that teachers could be sanctioned. The Ghana Education Service has taken up the matter and is going ahead with its own investigations. We have failed in our duty and it is unacceptable. I'm saying looking at the security. So it means as teachers we are here. Anything at all that happens to our children we are less concerned. That is another anger. Are you with me? Yes. So I want to caution you, it's really unacceptable. Because for all of you here, if you all really you were concerned and you, you move out, you have brought those children back. But you are just sitting down. Whatever happened, at least for some of you, no classes that day. You see, but it's, it's, it's not really good. I'm sure they have lost their contact hours. Yes, they are time on task. After break, it's not, it's not closing. So whatever you would, would have done, you didn't do it. Right, uh, on today's big story, we'll be exploring whether the teachers failed or were negligent of their duty during this demonstration. Now, her comments come despite appeals from the Ghana a National Association of Teachers NAT for the investigations to be scrapped after the teachers involved have been cautioned. We spoke to the Greater Accra Regional Secretary of NAT, Gifty Apambil, who believes the service should let bygones be bygones. And if we are willing to use this as a warning for them, I think they should abandon in the investigation and let us let bygones be bygones and then let us start the working. It wasn't any plan. I, I looked well, at it. We are still investigating, mm. so maybe let us not conclude. Are you with me? Uh, yes. Most of these things, they are taking away the instructional periods that we are crying for. And mm. so we, I know that the teachers are taking this one as a warning and a lesson to be learned. So if this is what we are all considering to be a lesson that they should learn, we should not use part of the instructional period that we are all uh, crying that is not enough for any further investigation. I know that they have also learned their lessons from it, and the children would have also learned their lessons. The well, it doesn't look like the GES is letting bygones be bygones. Our Simon's editor, Martha Crenstall, Aqua, was at the Liberty Avenue 1 and 4 Manchetaki class of school. She's joining me in the studio. Martha, how are you? I'm well. Great. I'll be coming to you. But we're also joined on the telephone by uh, Michael Insoa, who is the former director of Ghana Education uh, Education Service. Uh, he will be joining us on the telephone. And also we'll have the director of Police Public Relations, uh, DCOP, David uh, Nini Ampabini, the, the both on the line now. Uh, gentlemen, it's great to have you on the line and we, we, we're very happy that you could join the discussion. 
It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Now, Martha, let me start with you. What were your observations as you went to the, the class of schools? Um, that there are security issues. There are security ba issues. Basic, there basic. are basic security issues. Mm. The fact that you have holes through the walls, mm. almost all around the school, and the fact that the school gate is just there, but it's not locked, mm. and so the kids, the, the pupils can go in and out of school anytime mm. they wish. It's not really about someone sitting there and monitoring who goes out. And unfortunately, the moment they step out of the school, they are exposed to the main street, road. Yeah. It's very busy. That's Accra High Street. Yes, it's very, very busy. very busy. And so if you've been there before, you will, you will have concerns about children just pouring onto mm. the street mm. without any supervision. Mm. Basic so, security. So concerns. you wouldn't say that, uh, let's, let's, let me just uh, tease your brain, because you, you interviewed the, the Deputy Director of the Ghana Education Service and also have a chance to speak to Gifty Apambio, who is the NAT uh, General Secretary for Regional. Greater Accra Regional. Now, when you look at all this scenarios would you still say that the deputy director general of the GS was right in her assessment that the teachers or heads of schools have failed perhaps she has already concluded that they're guilty I, I when she said they had failed that prompted me to stay and monitor the situation mm. because it has been the tradition of mm. the school that when it's break time they don't get everything in the school so they go out and if you're talking about these children being on break at the time the demonstrators got to the school mm. then you expect that look Steve when you are in the school and you hear anything on the street you're attracted you want to see especially when it is drumming and dancing and music and all Definitely. the popular songs even if you were studying the children you'll be distracted. Will be, I spoke to some of the children who actually told me mm. that they wanted to go and their teachers asked them to stay I, I guess they were the very little ones, I so see. they had to stay back. Mm. But the other ones who were on break on the compound, and there's a cluster of schools. I saw one teacher trying to get one child back into the school and said, you are from Liberty 3, eh? He, that means the child was not from her I side. Know. So she wasn't even sure, but because she saw the cameras, she was trying to get the child back. So monitoring and then putting together cluster of schools, it's, all these children, it's difficult. It's difficult. Already. So I don't mm. think the teachers have failed. But the fact that she is thinking that some of them may have politically motivated the children to go and join mm. the demonstrators is another thing another altogether. Uh, Mother, I'll, I'll have you hold briefly. I'll return to you. Uh, let's get on to the line now. Michael Insoa is former uh, director of GES. is joining us. So, sir, good evening and thanks for your time. Good evening. Now, My pleasure. Now, I need to ask you, critically, what would be the duties of head teachers and teachers of a school that is so close to a ceremonial street of this nature? Yeah. on the type of demonstration mm. where, you know, some demonstrations people uh, throw missiles, break glasses mm. and send <laughs> turn over vehicles and that kind That's of. right. That, that's this kind of demonstration, yes, you can, you can classify as they, you know, uh, they can put the lives of anybody, not only the, anybody in danger. So because it will be the, mm. uh, the responsibility of the heads to make sure that if such a thing is coming, uh, to make sure that these children are protected. Are protected. So, so, I mean, basically, if I understand you correctly, there is also the, the scenario where the school authorities are not able to tell in advance whether one demonstration or the other might get violent. So what you would recommend for the first step is that they put precautions in place to ensure that no matter what kind of demonstrations, the children are not exposed, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure in this instance, the teachers went out to see what was coming mm. and then when they left the classroom i'm sure then the children followed them mm. now if it was something that was a violent demonstration they would have definitely used any means including kids to make sure that the children go back because they, they, uh, they will be uh, putting their lives in danger i see but you know at a point it was singing and dancing and drumming mm. and so everybody i mean it, it was a spontaneous reaction and
these children just join the chorus, but within their compound. Uh, Mr. Mr. Zoa, we'll return to you. Uh, if you hold on, I'll be grateful. Let me go to the other telephone line. Uh, DCOP, David uh, Bingi and, uh, and Pabini. Uh, good evening, sir. Now, I know that you have been listening to the discussions that have been ongoing between uh, myself and uh, the former director of Ghana Education Service. Let me, let me chip in. So typically, whose duty is it to ensure safety of school children on an approved route of a demonstration? I'm using my words cautiously because if the route was approved, I would believe that the police may have reviewed security concerns across the route, including whether there were schools, whether there were banks, whether there were hospitals along the route. So under the scenario, who would you say should have the overall responsibility for the child's safety? Thank you very much. Mm. No, organizing a demonstration uh, involves a lot of things. Mm. You have to meet with the demonstrators. We sit down and we carve out a path that they may follow. Mm. They bring their request. We also bring. So it's give and take. We don't get it easy. So that you are going to the extent of telling them that the after you have agreed, it's a long time, a long discussion, a debate, etc. Then you tell them because of uh, school now, let's change it. Mm. Already, they are suspicious of us already that probably right. we may not allow them to do the demonstration. That's right. So putting a lot of things, um, they see it as impediment in their way. Mm. And they may finally even come up without the police are preventing them. I see. From exercising their democratic right. So, 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 so this is your people, what, you're, what you're suggesting is that although they, they apply to you for uh, permission, I don't know whether the law doesn't say that they need a permission from you, but they inform you and you are on, on the route. You and don't, because of security mm. reasons, that's what we sit down with them to realign their rules so, so that all things are, uh, mm. work well. There's nothing like a... A violent demonstration. No, no, but, but, but what, I wanted well, to, what I wanted to ask you was that while reviewing the route of the demonstration with the, the demonstrators, do you normally consider things like schools and public certainly, places certainly, like hospitals? Certainly, we consider mm. all this, we consider this, but there's no single uh, route that <laughs> it may not have a, mm. a market. There's no single route that it may not have a school. A school. Mm. The, the other routes may have more schools than others. I see. The most, most important thing is that everybody has a child, even apart from school, even their house, their homes, they have children. And everybody ensures that the children, at least in uh, their house, it doesn't come out. Mm. So I think that uh, even though we have been able to realize the rules, the teachers have a sole responsibility because they are the first custodian of the peoples. I see. And they, that they should keep the police so, will do their best mm. to ensure that the demonstration is smooth. Police will do their best that the demonstrations are not enter into schools, etc. We guide see. them, we protect them, but uh, to get a, a route uh, which you may not have in school, I, I think it is... Uh, it's, it's, a bit, it, it, yeah. it's a bit too harsh, and the police will not mm, like to no thread that. Okay. Route which may mm. not have in school. Right, uh, I will still have my console on the line, but Martha, uh, we're looking at hearing what they're both saying. It does appear that the teachers actually have the sole responsibility of ensuring that the school children are safe. Did they tell you that they recognize that they had that sole responsibility? You know, unfortunately, because of the presence of Metro, Deputy, D DG, and all, all that, they didn't, them, want, they to didn't want to speak. But if imagine. you look at the visuals mm. and the, the reaction, when they were asked if they had any consent, nobody responded. Nobody responded. It's like, we won't talk. We are quiet. Whatever you say, just go ahead mm. and continue and mm. talk about it. Mm. But I have reservations about the fact that you think the teachers have sole responsibility to take care of the children at that time. I have been to that school. I know that school you, is a you, ceremony. You were a I was you a pupil, pupil there. there. Oh. And it's a ceremonial so that's your alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> that, that street is a ceremonial street. Yeah. I remember, I can recollect so many countless times that we had to come and line the streets of um, the, um, the main road mm. and use our miniature flags to welcome 
world leaders to the and, country. And that was to, permissible, including Obama. It was Obama. permissible. For so many times we mm. did that. Mm. And so I am thinking the police should have come in. Mm. Because knowing that this is not just a president passing through, but it's a demonstration with music, loud music, mm -hmm. and everything. It will attract their attention. So why not put just one police officer at that point where you know the kids will sneak out? Because you have this entrance mm -hmm. beneath the wall. Mm -hmm. They just crawl out, and then they are gone. Why don't you put one person there to make sure that, that they stay happen. in there? Mm -hmm. Or we are expecting the teachers to apply for that one as well. Mm -hmm. So teachers, will, the head teacher perhaps, all five head teachers will come together and say, we need protection mm -hmm. because this is a cluster of schools. Did they even know there was going to be a demonstration on that day? Possibly they didn't know. Maybe they yes, knew. Yes, because there was These no public notice questions. posted mm. there. Let me, and we've been back mm. and forth about the date and then and whether all, it will all. come off or not. Right. Let, so, let, let, me, let me put that to Michael and Soa. Mr. So, uh, if you're still there, let me uh, yeah. let us know if uh, you, you, you ever faced a similar situation during your tenure as GS boss. Well, uh, um, I think demonstrations have been in Ghana for... Mm. for a while now, and um, I think the same route has been used several times. Several times. So uh, I don't, I don't understand why we are making a fuss about this demonstration because the mm -hmm. children. How many times have the children not come out to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, look at demonstration either by a party or by in a, a group of workers and so on, mm -hmm. and nothing happened. But is it because this demonstration was organized by an MPP? That's mm -hmm. why they want to uh, just use that as an excuse to. As it were, punish. So you you, you feel that kind? you feel generally that the GES is perhaps using this as a basis to set some scapegoats. Well, People they, I heard, they say I heard, are uh, mm. I heard a funny, a funny. I would say funny because uh, it, it is really funny that you are putting the children like uh, la political risk. That's right. I, I don't I don't know where that is coming from. How many times have we see children being used for campaign? Uh, you no. Know, uh, are they? Even in campaign school videos. Children. Mm. School children. School uh, children. NDC under Professor Mill, NDC under uh, John Mahama. Use school children uh, for campaign ads. Mm. Is that not even powerful enough to, to, to create a, what they call political risk? Mm. So, what is, I mean, this is pure hypocrisy. Pure hypocrisy. Plain yeah. hypocrisy. And they mm. must stop that. Mm. You see, there are more serious issues within the education sector. They don't have jobs for two years. And now you are saying children have come out to, uh, to, to look at the demonstration, and therefore the teachers will be sanctioned. They should sanction themselves for not giving jobs mm. to the, uh, the schools for two years. Mm. They should sanction themselves. Mr. Zoa, uh, we're grateful for your time on today's big story. Uh, that's that's a very interesting comment, Mr. And so I made there that this is pure hypocrisy. I, I know. I, I, I know if that, I heard mm, one mm. one of them, I would even want to mention because mm. it's a stolen conversation, saying that when it is convenient for the politician, he or she wants to use the children to tell the story. When it is not convenient, then someone then the other must way be punished around. for it. Ah, very sad. Uh, DCOP and Papini is still on the line. DCOP, I know that you will not be drawn into the political discourse. But tell me, uh, did the, the school officials uh, know that a demonstration of this kind was happening? Did the police take steps in informing them? Or you would say it's not the police duty to do that? No, no, I cannot say that. The, the demonstrators themselves have posted notice mm. all over the radio, all over all the media, the print media, wherever, TV. They are posted. Mm -hmm. I got to know that they are going to demonstrate even in the media. Yeah. So the teachers also may know of it. They have to announce to the children everything. They have sent information out that even from that time they knew that they are going to come out. All these things are known to mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a matter that somebody should go and Any inform the children they are going to do. They are mm -hmm. not the originator of the, uh, probably, the, or the demonstrators themselves. They will draw last night and say tomorrow our demonstration we have cancelled it. I see. These things have been put, the notices have been sent. So I believe that everybody is aware. I that, see. Uh, mm. Yeah, so. I see. So what options would have been uh, available? So I, I think that yeah. uh, first time, the teachers know their peculiar program. Mm. If uh, something of this nature, they can approach the police. I see. For they extra can protection. The commander with their request. 
I see. We need some 10 policemen, 20 policemen for our compound alone because this is our peculiar problem. The police will readily agree to assist them. I see. Yeah. So it means that, I mean, the teachers could have used their discretion wisely or... And, exactly, and, because and, they know, they know the, the other schools, they, they have a lock and they can lock the main gate, etc. So they know they have a peculiar program. You see the regional commander with this, well, we have heard that tomorrow there's a demonstration. We, we have our children in school mm -hmm. and sometimes during these demonstrations, it becomes very difficult for us to contain them. Therefore, we will need about five policemen on our compound to help us to control the children. This, the regional commander will already do that. So the, the, the school authorities have no excuse, really, to cite security concerns. They have no excuse. Uh, oh, that, that, you are, you are moderating. So I'm right not that. Right, uh, this will be on Pabini. We're grateful for your time. But before you go, I mean, let's get a fairer understanding of uh, this particular instance, what you did. For, to ensure safety of the children. Because I, I know also that as much as you're saying that the teachers or the heads of the schools could have approached the police, you could also have put in place uh, some security arrangement. Did you do that? Yes. You saw the number of policemen, a lot of policemen uh, on the road. And you know, demonstration flows. It's a point, it's not a, a static. So as the policemen are going, the policemen who are there, as the demonstration moves forward, the police will move with them. Mm. Because you don't know what is ahead. We can't leave the demonstrators and then we will stand at one place. So there were policemen there, but it was a it was a process, dynamic sort of movement. So the police moved along with the demonstrators. And next time, as we have heard of this, and the teachers are preachers or any institution which wants us to take that because of a demonstration, I think the police are ready to provide the escort. Right, uh, DCOP and Pabini, we're grateful for your time on today's Big Story. So, Martha, you heard it all. I mean, uh, there, are, there are questions over whether uh, the GS authorities are being too hypocritical. I mean, it's not up to you and me I to agree. say so, but the evidence are all clear that yes. it happens. It's good for some people. It's not mm -hmm. good for other people. Mm -hmm. What does your hunch tell you will be the final outcome of this? Um, I'm sure it will cool down and it will all disappear. And when we want to follow up and find out if they found any teacher culpable, we won't find them because, trust me, this is not going anywhere. I assume that because there is public outcry about children and what they said, in fact, the acting deputy DG said, the words the children use, mm. she can't even say them. But mm. all we have seen is Mahama is a doom so. Man, I Mahama is a thief. There was that Ma one Mahama is a thief. They are so bad that she can't repeat them. And that when you are training a child, the child is supposed to um, respect you. And so if you're doing something wrong, the child is not supposed to insult, insult you, you, tell you about it. But what the child is supposed to do is to pray. Mm. So that was the motivation, mm. that was the inspiration, that was all that she Obey told the children. They should be able kind of, to mm. pray for their leaders instead of coming out to join But, she, but she's right, isn't it? I mean, if, for example, you are the head teacher of that school, and let's say you did something bad, mm -hmm. the, the, the teacher will come, the child to to come, come and tell you a thief. And, and tell you you're a thief. Mm. But here they were drawn into the chorus that was being sung. And you know children are like that. Mm. Once they mm. see people go along, look, they chew and pour every campaign song of every political party, even though they don't vote. They do that. Mm. And this is one of those. And so I don't see why the teacher, because when I went to the school and I look around, I said, no, it will be impossible for a teacher. Very impossible. To take care of a class and the, there are four classes not the four schools five in, schools, what, five schools, five schools. One you have liberty one, one and, four, and four and then three then you have manchetaki one and two then you have the other one two. there are five schools together so, so not, when you not, see a pupil you have to wonder is it from my side or mm, from the other side mm. because even if you see one this is from one class and the, the shift system has been phased out, so there is congestion too mm. in the class. So if you want to put them together, they didn't know they were getting there at the time they were going on break. But they got there at the time they were, we're on, on break. break. And for so long as we were packed out there watching what will happen, the kids were just coming out. And they were on and break. Going back. And they were they had on every break. Right to go and they were in saying they were going the to get food to eat. There was no food on the compound or there was food. In fact, there was school feeding, but they were not impressed. Mm. There was another canteen. They didn't like it, so they had to go out. As much as one teacher tried to get them uh, um, back into the school, it didn't work. It didn't because work. they were not coming from her side of the um, class or schools. They were coming from another side. Mm. So if we would just 
let this matter lie, like the um, GES regional secretary was saying. saying. If you say it's caution, you've cautioned them. Let's move on. Don't say you're going to investigate. Systems. Yes, it's systems. All, it's all because waste I was of asking time, right? one of the mm. head teachers what she has done about this gate that is never locked, about this hole through the wall, and she told me they tried. They patched the hole once, and then mm. by the time they came back, it had been broken. So the problem will always be there. It's and, always and be there. And they will always face a situation where there will be so demonstrations, and then there will be uh, parades and other other and visitors coming in. And they will go back and in. watch. Oh. They want to watch what's up. Right. Uh, that's uh, Martha Crenso, our assignments editor. She was at the school to interact with the people. Martha, Martha before we all go, mm -hmm. um, I know that some of the teachers you wanted to interact with were not too forthcoming. They, they were afraid to talk mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Why? In fact, we were warned from the beginning that we are not supposed to talk to any child, any teacher. Oh. Because whatever we need to know is what the DG, deputy DG has, has said. said. Mm. So we should take that. So you got no teacher to say anything apart no. from the, the no. NAT representative. If I want to talk did you, to did them you suspect about that they things. were afraid to speak, fearing um, they could be uh, victimized for freely see, speaking? See, I can tell you authoritatively that I have some of them who spoke to me and didn't want to to capture their faces, but they were sent out of the school. I see. At the time the meeting was about taking place, six teachers, they were sacked from the school. Just for and at the, to you? They didn't even speak to me. They don't know why they were sacked from the school because they've been talking about issues that may go against someone. So they were sent out of the school. So they were camping around the bank mm. and that was where they were whiling away time when I found I them and they were afraid to talk. Right, uh, so it means that there is there's more to just what we see. My name is Stephen Antti, and that's being uh, Martha Krenzel, our assignments editor, who visited the cluster of schools on the Accra High Street. And uh, we're grateful that you could join us on today's big story. We'll be right back with an interactive segment. Do stay.